popularly known in Malacanang Palace as Castor. He is no ordinary member of the kitchen staff. Castro is an officer of the Philippine National Police with the rank of Senior Police Officer 3 and a member of the Presidential Security Group. His duty is different from other security officers. He is the President's official food tester. Uh, we were trained then at the National Bureau of Investigation uh, to test and analyze all the foods, uh, different kinds of poisons, and uh, conduct uh, intelligence gathering, background investigations of the chef and the waiters that will serve the president. Especially during uh, presidential engagement uh, the, uh, in the hotels or outside the country, we were taught how to coordinate and analyze all those possible threats against the president. Everything from the water used in cooking and as drink to the ingredients and seasonings undergo a close inspection under the watchful eyes, nose, and tongue of Castro. Unlike other security officers, Castro is armed not with a gun, but with a flashlight. He uses this to spot any possible discoloration in the food, keeping a sharp lookout for possible contamination. Uh. We should treat uh, two hours or three hours before the food is served to the president. It's being already checked. And all the food that uh, were bought outside the, outside the residence or in our uh, functions, we try to check. We have some reagents and chemicals used in detecting this kind of uh, different kind of poisons. First line of defense also. You cannot assassinate the president only by means of a bullet, but by means of food. He's very thorough. I don't think there's been an instance that any of us have been have uh, had uh, food poisoning, even during my mother's time. But uh, sometimes when you're really very hungry, he has to check on everything, including the condiments. No? So, so uh, sometimes uh, the process of getting fed gets a little longer. This morning, Castro monitors the preparation of the president's favorite dish, pork adobo, or pork marinated with vinegar and soy sauce. It will be served for lunch. I think I have a fun job, an exciting job, because uh, before the president eats his food, I'm the first one to eat it first. Oh, it's a very uh, big responsibility, because uh, if anything happens to the president, I'll be answering and selling to the Filipino people. So I always uh, double check and make sure all the food is safe. For Castro, this is a big responsibility. The president's life is in his hands, or more accurately, in his eyes and taste buds. I don't think I have the competence to tell him what he has to do. He has been trained quite thoroughly, both here and abroad. With that function. It's an honor to be one of the trusted uh, security details of the presidency. For Castro, it's an honor to be one of the president's most trusted persons. For the president of the Philippines, the threat of assassination is always a clear and present danger. President Corazon Aquino survived nine coup attempts. Her only son, Noy Noy, almost died in one of those attempts. On August 28, 1987, Noy Noy and his security personnel came under fire. Noy Noy was wounded. One of the bullets is still embedded in his neck. After the first or the second salvo, they said, go out, go out, no? And then when I got out, they said to lie down. When I lie down, they said, not here. Then they said, go back in. When I was going back in, they, I heard firing again, no? Well, um, they were very trigger happy. Eh? So I assumed uh, that these were um, our men who had sustained the initial attack. In the initial attack, we lost two men right away. Then Captain Jose Angel Honrado 
commanding officer, presidential escort under the presidential security group, led the team in extracting Noi Noi from the kill zone. Immediately I approached the car of uh, President Aquino and I saw him bloodied and lumped on the driver's seat. I said, oh my God, just go on it, <laughs> because he was all bloodied up and, uh, you know. And I started, I, started, I started shouting orders to the soldiers to immediately extricate the rest, seat. So I took him out and then uh, boarded him to this uh, Samaritan uh, vehicle and brought him to our leggy house for, uh, for treatment. We called in doctors and nurses from the PSG hospital. They came over and provided first aid treatment to him. Hindi ko po papayagan na itong mga taong ito na muling nagsisinungaling sa atin ay ibalik yung kanilang karahasan nung nakaraan na diktador. In this rare footage never before seen by the public, President Corazon Aquino is evacuated on a barge by members of the presidential security group across the Pasig River during the siege on the palace. Day in and day out, the presidential security group is the one tasked to protect the president. As commander of the Presidential Security Group, or PSG, Army Colonel Ramon Mateo Dison is not only accountable to the president, but to the entire nation composed of more than 90 million Filipinos. Very big responsibility. There were millions of Filipinos who voted for this president, for example. And if something happens to this president, then uh, that's something that uh, the group commander has to think about. Uh, we have to make sure every day that when the president wakes up and goes through his daily routine, that at the end of the day, he comes back home safe. It's not only the president, but also the family um, and other dignitaries that we protect. Uh, there has to be of utmost trust and confidence. No? So uh, Colonel Dixon was with us uh, when we, when my mother assumed the office. He was a uh, I guess uh, a lieutenant you know, at that time, uh, at the most a captain, he was a young officer. He went through us uh, in battling the coups during my mother's time. Um, he, is, he was of sufficient rank and sufficient experience, sufficient training. Uh, and he's a person that I know of that has, enjoys my full trust and confidence. So the competence and the trust aspects are there. So I chose him to become my, my group commander. Through the recommendations of senior military officials, he was appointed by President Noinoy Aquino himself to head the PSG. As a member of former President Corazon Aquino's security detail, Dison was part of the PSG's first batch to have been trained by the U.S. Secret Service for VIP security. As former commander of the Joint Special Operations Group of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, he was responsible for the deployment of elite special operations units of the armed forces. He served three former presidents, Corazon Aquino, Fidel Ramos, and Joseph Estrada. Today, his former command, the Joint Special Operations Group, is at the forefront in the fight against the Al-Qaeda-linked Abu Sayyaf, in Basilan and other parts of Mindanao. I think the best edge is that we constantly train. Okay? We, we are constantly training to do our, our uh, work, whether it be in protection, in area security, in keeping our vehicles running. Uh, we are, I think we're one of the organizations that send a lot of people out on training. But uh, I think that's, the, that's what you need to have, uh, people who are competent in the way they do their job. Senior Police Officer 4 Lito Africano is the personal security aide of the President. He belongs to the President's inner circle of security personnel. Stand 
number one, uh, siyempre yung security niya. Kailangan na uh, maging ano tayo, uh, uh, alert lagi. Uh, expect the unexpected. Kasi ganyan ang security. Pangalawa yung mga sa ano niya, sa personal niya. Kasi siya ako yung pinaka-close talaga na ano niya. Uh, security niya. Saka team leader ako dun sa team na kasama sa training namin. Ang mga kababayan natin. Unlike any other security personnel detailed with the president, Gito takes care of even the most minute personal details that the president may need, especially in official functions abroad. Pero tapos may nakalala, ano talaga ang values na? Ay, yung gamit niya ako, ano doon, ako lang titikir. Yung, yan, yung mga pag-shooting na kami sa amin. Yung pag nasa abroad kami, hindi ko pinagkakatiwala yung damit. Damit niya, yung mga... Kung kailangan ako mag-fix, ako na mismo. Yung masarap na parte siguro, yung andong kayo sa bahay. <laughs> At uh, yung medyo walang masyadong trabaho, yung, yung andong siya nakikipag-banding. Nakikipag-biruan, nakikipag-kwentuhan, nakasama kami. Senior Police Officer 4, Lito Africano. Lito is the personal security aide of the President. Lito was a member of the Special Reaction Unit, the PSG's assault team, while the president's mother was leading the country. From 1992 to 1998, Lito was reassigned to the Manila Police District. When President Noy Noy ran for Congress in 1998, he tacked the services of Lito again until he became senator in 2007. When Noy Noy ran for president in 2010, he was again at the president's side. Although he's not exactly sure why the president chose him, Lito says that he's proud of his job. So they knew the risks that they, and that they took with me. And I did offer them, I said, no, we can come back after this is over. If uh, you have families, you'd rather ensure that you uh, you can return them. But they didn't come. They didn't talk out. You know, they they with me. Th they were with me through all the dangers that we had to face, and up to now, the, the dangers that we're still facing. Napakalaking karangalan talaga. Na kung part man ako ng history, na lalo napakalaking karangalan para sa akin sa na nulit ko sa akin pamilya. His job takes him to every place that the president goes, including the shooting range. He is so close to the president that the president has even taught him his trademark shot to split a playing card into two. The president gave him a 45 caliber pistol, the same kind of weapon that the president uses. He is grateful for the gift and always carries it with him as his backup piece. Siya yung naunang naubusan, pwede kong ibigay yung natitira kong bala na may extra bala ako, pwede kong pahiram talaga. Kasi same caliber, same yan. Ganon din sa akin, kasi halimbawa, wala akong bala at mayroon pa siya, pwede ka. Like his superior, Colonel Dison, Lito says he is ready to sacrifice his life to save the president. Ang expectation ng nakakarami nasa amin sa amin yung nakasalalay yung ano uh, kaligtasan ng pangulo